All right, seniors. So we talked about Petrus Ridges um, with skull work and that it's one of the main um, kind of questions related to some of the image critique things. Um, something you have to understand to know which way you need to adjust the patient to get it accurate. Um, so remember, we call it hang 10. Um, if you had David Killian uh, for clinical, he taught us to hang 10 for Petrus Ridges. Oh, probably 20 years ago. Um, and it's really helped me. So I'm going to help you with it as well. So just remember, um, a lot of the skull work, um, sinuses, facial bones, any of the cranium stuff has a specific location for where the Petrus ridges or Petrus pyramids, whatever you call them, um, should sit. So remember PA or AP skull, they will fill the orbit or kind of be sitting at the superior rim. And for Caldwell skull, Caldwell facial bones, Caldwell sinus, they're supposed to be in the lower one third of the orbit. So if you make a circle around the orbit, they're supposed to sit in the lower one third. What if they're not there? How do you figure that out? Um, so on this x-ray here, you'll notice there's some anatomy identified one of which is the Petrus Ridge or the Petrus Pyramid. So if you make a circle around the orbit, this white line or ridge is the Petrus uh, Ridges or Petrus Pyramid. So that's number four. All right, I was taught to hang 10. Um, so you place your hand sort of in this position like a surfer dude. Um, if you put your thumbs in your ears and your pinkies kind of in front of your cheeks or just below your orbits. Um, these are going to act as your pinkies are going to be your Petrus ridges. If you're looking at an image, you're like, man, I need my ridges to go up. How do I move my head? Well, if you keep those pinkies secure and adjust your head, it will show you how the Petrus ridges will move. So if you need the Petrus ridges to go up, then you need to tuck the head down. If you need them to lower, then you have to extend the chin. So the chin and the ridges direction are gonna be opposite of each other. So hang 10, stick your thumbs in your ears. Um, it's okay to do that at clinical. It's okay to do it while you're taking your registry. Just remember a skeleton surfing is kind of fun. Um, all right, so here's our image to critique here. This is supposed to be a Caldwell uh, we'll call it Caldwell facial bones. Um, I want you to identify where the Petrus ridges are. So find your orbits, make the circle. Can you find the ridge? Here's one, here's the other. Would you consider that to be in the lower one third of the orbit? I wouldn't. Um, so it's really right in the middle of that orbit. So I tried to do some coloring. Coloring's not my... <laughs> forte but here you go so the red is kind of the bottom of the orbit these are not super exact so please don't um come after me the um petrus ridges are here in the midline all right so here's our problem which way do we need the ridges to go i need them to go down a little bit but how would you move this patient to make them do that hang 10 stick your thumbs in your ears pinkies in front of your cheeks so they're too high i need them to go lower so how are we going to change our patient's head? We're going to extend the chin slightly, and that will lower our Petrus ridges. So remember, chin and ridges, they're going to go opposite. Here's um, another one. Here's a Caldwell skull. Uh, not a good one, but I want you to figure out where are those ridges? Are they in the lower one third? Are they kind of in the middle? Are they filling the orbit? We don't have much um, dark sort of airspace here. These are almost filling the orbit. So not good. We, we, we need to fix that, right? So here's some of my lovely arts and crafts for you. Let's find our orbits. Let's find our ridges. They are way too high for a Caldwell. So hang 10, thumbs in your ears, fingers out. Too high. I need them to lower down. You're going to extend that chin up to drop them down. What if they were too low and you need them to go up? You would tuck the chin. Here's a waters view, a parieto acanthial. Where do we want the Petrus ridges for this? I am hope you're saying, because we just went over this, that you want the ridges below the maxillary sinus. So find your maxillary sinus, 
There's a bright white line inside your maxillary sinus. Is that where it should be? I hope you're saying no. So which way do we have to go? All right, here's my arts and crafts. Here's your maxillary sinuses. Your ridges are in it. You're going to hang 10. Okay, they're too high. I need them to go down. Which way do I go? We're going to lift up to make them go down. And you know with waters, right? That one's tricky. They have to have that MML perpendicular. So that chin has got to be way up high. So this patient, they their MML was not accurate. They kind of tucked down a little. So you got to kick that chin up high. Here's just a really bad extra. <laughs> um, so we'll say this was supposed to be a parietocanthal a waters. I don't think it was, but just for our example here, I think it's super obvious. It just makes this um, kind of practice uh, a little bit easier for you. So again, here's my arts and crafts. All right, here's your orbits. Here's your maxillary sinuses. These ridges are in the middle of those maxillary sinus. We need kind of a significant kick up to lower that down, okay? All right, so quick tips, let's hang 10. Even if you're doing your test and you're like, man, I don't know, they're gonna be opposite. If your ridges are too high to lower them, you gotta bring the chin up to get the ridges to go down. What if they're too low and you need them to go up? Say you need them to fill the orbit, you're trying to do a PA skull. They're not filling the orbit, they're too low. Tuck the chin down to raise. So hang 10, thumbs in your ears, fingers out, and just kind of practice that a little bit. If you have a skull, you could put kind of a little line in the front to kind of help you with um, understanding some of that, okay? So just remember, where should your petrous ridges go? You need to know that first, right? So axial um, Caldwell's, you know they need to be in the lower one third. PA or AP skull, they're filling the orbit. Parietoacanthial waters, um, they are below the maxillary sinuses. So you have to know that first before you can then and go critique the image. So start there and then decide how do I move the head? And just remember, if it says extend the chin, that means it's going up. The chin is extending. If it says tuck the chin or depress the chin, then it's going down. You're giving double chin. All right, so have fun hanging 10 and hope this was helpful.